All right, everyone, we're back at RJK English, and we'll continue with the accounting game, Chapter 1. So we learned about the, uh, the balance sheet last time. And one thing that we didn't say was the balance sheet is a snapshot. What's a snapshot? It's a picture. What's a picture? It's a, it's a point in time. So that means the balance sheet could be different in the morning than it is in the afternoon. And we're going to see it change throughout the rest of this time. There will be other uh, types of financial statements. The balance sheet is a financial statement. There will be other types of financial statements that are not, that don't change like the balance sheet does. Uh, the balance sheet is a snapshot. It's like taking a picture. All right. So now the person needs to, the, our hero, he needs to buy, he needs to spend money in order to get the products, I'm sorry, the supplies in order to make his product. What is his final product? It is a glass of lemonade. So we're going to look at buying that and we're going to look at how we figure out um, uh, cost of units from that. Okay, so he goes to the store. He has $15 in his pocket, right? Because if we look at the balance sheet, his cash is at $15. 10 of it is from the loan from his parents. Five of it is his original investment in it. So he needs to buy, in order to do what he needs to do, he needs to buy 50 lemons, five pounds of sugar, and he needs two gallons of water. The first thing he figures out is that lemons are uh, 20 cents a piece. So I'm going to make this chart here, 50 lemons, 20 cents a piece, the total is $10. Sugar, he needs five pounds of sugar, 40 cents a pound, it's $2. Water, he figures out he can just get that from his home. Uh, it's drinkable, it's very good. So he's just going to take that out of the tap, he doesn't have to pay for it. So the total he's going to spend is $12. We created this chart ourselves. his total purchases are $12. So having paid, he goes back home and he now owns 50 lemons five pound, and five pounds of sugar. What do people call this? They call it the raw materials. These are raw materials. And we should add that to our list here, raw materials. You use raw materials in order to make your product. So uh, da, 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 his inventory is raw materials, goods in process and finished goods that a business plans to sell. So they're raw materials. Then as you work on them, they become goods in process. When they're done, they're finished goods. So goods in process is when we are processing them. So he's squeezing the lemons, he's taking the sugar, he's putting it together. And they are, um, what are they? Finished goods when they're done. Okay, so let's uh, fill in the scorecard for this. We need to put inventory on our balance sheet, right? Inventory, $12. Um, what does that do to our cash? That takes it down to $3, right? So now our total assets are 15. Nothing's changed over here. Our liabilities are still the same. We still owe $10. Our original investment is still $5, right? Okay, so we filled that out. Uh, does this exchange cause your to a change in your total assets? No, you still have $15. It just brings your cash down and puts your inventory up. So inventory is an asset. Why is it an asset? You're going to use it in order to um, sell. You have to have inventory to sell. It's an asset. Okay. Uh, owner's equity is, stays the same. Liabilities stay the same. Okay. So we're in balance. We're balanced. Um, cost of production. Let's figure this out. We know that um, everything costs $12, right? How many glasses can be made from all of this? He figured out that it would take that it would make 60 glasses. So now we need to figure out the cost of production. Let's add that here. Cost of production. 
you're going to see what that is. Sorry. Okay, so cost of production will be the dollars for all of the products divided by the number of glasses, 60, and that will be the cost per unit equals this divided by this. So it's 20 cents per glass. So let's go over to our cost of production. Let's just um, plug that in. There we go, 20 cents per glass. That's the cost of production, okay? Let's see if we got it right. He says, hopefully you came out with a unit cost of 20 cents uh, divided by, that's 60 glasses. Okay, so now you know it costs you 20 cents to produce one glass of lemonade. Why do you think that's important? Let's, let's watch here. Now, he goes on to talk about, she goes on to talk about how the boy tries to figure out how much to charge now for his glass of lemonade. He knows that, uh, he goes around and asks family and friends, what would you pay for a glass of lemonade? And he gets their input. He also thinks about how much does a glass of lemonade cost at a restaurant? Then he thinks, what he remembers seeing a child who was selling some lemonade last year he charged a dollar per glass right that's a lot from 10 10 cents when i was a kid a dollar per glass and his lemonade was terrible he made it from a mix that he bought he didn't buy lemons and the boy is saying my lemonade is really good so he's trying to figure out how much to charge still he doesn't want to charge so much that he scares away business. This is the decision to make. Can you make more by charging less and getting more customers? Or can you make more by charging more and having fewer customers? All right. So he decides to charge 50 cents per glass. Finally, the big day arrives. He opens the lemonade stand. There's a lot of people going around. It's a hot day. Everybody wants some lemonade. In just a couple of, of hours, his cigar box, remember his safe, is filled up with nickels, pennies, quarters, everything. He can barely keep up with demand. What is demand? Demand is how much people want that product. How do you know they want the product? Because they buy it. Demand. Demand is the amount of people that want to buy that product. Supply is the amount of product you have to sell. Have you ever heard in economics, supply and demand, you know, they, they figure out price based on supply and demand? Well, that's the supply and demand we're talking about. When he's out, if only 10 people want to buy, he only has a supply of 10 people that want it. But maybe if he lowered his price, he'd have more people, right? This is the dilemma. His arm is about to fall off from pouring so many glasses of lemonade. But the time he closes up, he sold 50 glasses of lemonade. He adds up all the coins. He sold $25 of lemonade. Okay, so how do we know he sold $25? Let's go down and do our, he sold, how, how many did he sell? He sold 50 glasses. Price is uh, 50 cents, 50 cents, uh, revenue, and we're going to call it revenue, not profit. Oops. Equals, sorry, equals times, he sold $25. His revenue is $25 or his sales are $25. So we add his sales into uh, cost of uh, sales is $25, right? What is his cost of goods sold? He sold 50. So he sold 50 times the 20 cents per glass, right? $10. So his gross profit is sales minus cost of goods sold. What is the cost of goods sold? It's about 
his raw materials, the amount it took to produce them, he figured out it was 20 cents per glass. That's his gross profit. So now you know what gross profit is. There we go. Boom. Right? We're, we're really figuring this out. So here's his daily sales, uh, $15. Let's see if we got it right. Profit or earnings? Uh, do you know? Uh, so this is called revenue. Sales is revenue. Why is it called revenue? Because it's not the actual amount of profit you get because you spent money in order to get that profit. You have to reduce that amount of money. Then you get the gross profit. Um, uh, profit or earnings, uh, you need to subtract the cost of goods sold. So what did they say that he got? Um, so out of $25, he made $15 in profit. So let's see, in return, $25 representing sale of 50 glasses. Go ahead and record these changes. Does the, okay, so if we just did it as normal, we would decrease inventory. Um, we need to decrease inventory. Where is he putting in? Okay, let me figure this out. Okay. You sold $25 of lemonade on your first day. Then you remember you had to spend money to get it. 20 cents a glass is $10. So now uh, he has $15 in earnings. That's called profit or earnings. In order to figure out your earnings, you need to subtract the cost of goods sold to get your from sales to get your gross profit. Let's reflect on the scorecard. Remember, you sold 50 glasses of lemonade, which cost you $10 in inventory to produce. Thus, the amount of inventory was substantially reduced. So I'm going to reduce inventory by $10, right? In return, though, in came $25 of cash, representing sales of 50 glasses. Go ahead and record these changes. I'm going to put it over in owner's equity. Five plus 25. Okay. So does that leave the left side equal to the right side? No. How much more do you have on the left side? So I didn't do, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do that right. So I'm going to add to the cash $25. Uh, sorry. I didn't do that right. Equals equals three plus twenty five. Now I've got thirty dollars over on the asset side. I've only got fifteen dollars over on the total liabilities. Does the left side equal the right? No. Who owns the fifteen dollars in profit? I do. So we add fifteen dollars to the owner's equity. Equals five plus 15. Now do we equal the amount? Yes. The profit went over here into owner's equity. The total cash went into the cash and inventory was reduced. That's how the profit is marked on the balance sheet. Notes payable wasn't changed at all. So how much is on the right side? $30. Does the left side equal the right? Yes. Then we're correct because assets equals liability plus owner's equity. Total assets equals this plus this, which equals 30. They equal each other. They balance. When did you earn that $15? Just now. Who does the earnings belong to? Me. How have things changed on the scorecard? Let's look at the total assets have raised by, uh, by $15. Okay, that evening, as you practically have the money you made already spent in your mind, you're already thinking of how to spend that money. Mom and dad drop the bombshell. That means they, they tell you something that you're like, oh. Those glasses that you used at the lemonade stand, the ones that you handled so carefully and washed them, guess what? Mom and dad want to give you a lesson about running a business. 
they decide to give you charge you a glass rental fee of two dollars per day that's tough right so now you have an extra expense right Worse yet, the next day, your best friend announces that he or she wants to be paid $1 for a sign he or she painted for the lemonade stand. So they went out and they painted signs and put them around the neighborhood to tell people about the lemonade stand. They want $1, they want $1 for that. Well, you decide two can play this game. That afternoon, you decide you want to move the stand off your front yard to the neighbors at the corner to attract more business. The only problem is the neighbors... Uh, haven't been very happy um, with you, and so you have to figure out how to get how to get them to keep it there. Um, so they you pay two dollars to rent per day to rent that location. You pay two dollars to them to rent that location. So now you're going to be in the neighbor's yard. You have to pay for the glasses, the rental of the glasses, and you have to pay for the. Uh, the rental fee for, I'm sorry, you have to pay your friend a dollar. Expenses are uh, rising. So now we need to go up here and change this. We're going to go, we're going to put expenses over here. Glass rental. dollars advertising one dollar rent two dollars how much are your expenses so far five dollars expenses are the cost of doing business other than those related to the that of producing your product so cost of goods sold was when you were uh when you made the lemonade but now you have these other things that also add to your cost these are called expenses they're outside of the things related to producing your product you have to pay these expenses regardless of how much or little a little lemonade you make or sell things like glass rental advertising rent and other things uh aren't directly related to the cost of the product, like buying lemons and, uh, and the sugar, right? You pay those out of cat, cash, and we're going to record that next time. I'm going to stop here. Uh, so come back next time and we'll review this, then we'll start, uh, and I think we'll be able to finish this chapter uh, next time. So we'll know all about the balance sheet by next time. So make sure to like and subscribe. Tell one person about our, my channel, and when you comment and when you like, that helps people to see my videos. So I'd really appreciate it. And hit me up on RJK English and let's discuss. All right. I will see you next time.